I think every little kid on the planet, if you put a bow in their hands and they shoot an arrow, they're immediately in a trance. Like there's this beautiful mystery of archery, and I think that traditional archery really encapsulates that. I got really captured by watching my dad kill moose and kill caribou and deer with those bows. Being that close to an animal that big, I just knew that was something that was gonna be part of my life. A little bit higher, there you go. Whoa. So Paul is a father and a husband. He's a professional ski guide. He's a whitewater kayaker. He's a physician at a pretty significant hospital system in Western Alaska. And then of all the things, hunting is what captivates him the most. I don't think anybody really knows how good he is. This would have been caribou 2022. This would have been a 2020 doll. 2022 deer, doll sheep, moose, mountain goat, a blacktail, the 15 year old ram. In the last four years, I think it's three rams that he's taken and that shows tremendous skill. When you're shooting a traditional bow, it just makes you more connected to the world around you. That's a big part of why I do it. Whew. People always ask me how I prepare for mountain hunting, and uh, the short answer is I just play in the mountains all year. You know, I go backcountry skiing, and I go hiking and running with my wife, I go whitewater kayaking, I go mountain biking, and uh, one of my kind of long-standing traditions since I was 12 years old was making a set of arrows every year for my hunts. I shoot my bow every day. Some people would probably call it obsessive, but you know that's just part of being a traditional bow hunter. Yeah, I don't know a better shot. I don't know anyone that can shoot a bow any better and hunt any better than my son. He's really good at that. I've always really enjoyed the style of hunting where I get to go out for a long period of time by myself and just have nothing else to focus on. It's big stuff. You're gone, you're remote, you're in exposed places, and you're having to get inside this envelope with the animals that's really tight. I think there is a lot of emphasis in our society toward doing things quickly, doing things efficiently, and even doing things the easiest way possible. And I think there's a lot of value in doing things that are hard. When you're shooting a traditional bow, there's really no off season. It's just one of those things that connects you to hunting 365 days a year.